Hey, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a Cobb adjustable shift plate for the Focus ST. Um, so, it's supposed to shorten your throws by 20, 30, or 40%. You, you can choose. Of course, I think I'm going to go for the max and go 40%. So, um, if, if this works out well um, for $95 that this thing costs, it should be pretty impressive. Um, a lot of my friends at work are wanting to see how it does because uh, they have Focus ST. So, anyways, we're going to go to the car, measure the shift, see how far the shift is now, the, you know, how far you got to move it, and then we're going to install it and then measure it again to see if it really does shorten it by 40% and measure where it goes. So, but first, let's get this open. I haven't seen what is inside this. Um, so, I've already got the, the tape cut, so... Um, hmm. So here's the inside. Uh, we have something wrapped. I think that's the main shift plate. We've got a little tool kit here. The bolts, Allen wrenches, some little things there. Can't really see what else is inside this. So let's see. heavy oh that's the that's the other piece of the shift plate that's nice some loctite right in there and of course you got the cob decals you can put onto your car and I think you yeah that's cool So let's look at this main thing here. So there we go. So 20, 30, and 40 percent. Um, we'll see how all this works. We're gonna have to download the instructions because it didn't come with instructions. So let's go measure the show. So, since it didn't come with instructions, I just uh, got it on my phone. So I'm just gonna use that. I was gonna print it, but that's a lot of pictures to print. So, um, come on, focus. The tools you need are gonna be right here. Tools required. Need those pliers is what I probably don't have. Okay, so here's a side shot. I'm using, holding this big yardstick. I'm gonna measure from the R. So the R is at the, exactly at the five. So I'm shift down. Um, then the R goes to nine and a half, nine and a half. So let's do this again. This is first gear, by the way. Wow, huge shift. Um, yeah, so nine and a half, so four and a half inch. All right, it's third, my bad. That's third gear. Third gear. So measure from the R, it's exactly at five. Fourth gear goes down to a little over nine and a half. Now let's do a top angle shot. Okay, here's a top down view. Um, so you see where the R is at. So I'm in third gear. So the R is five. Go down to fourth. You can see where it goes. Pretty big shift. I mean, I, I know Focus doesn't have the best shifter. So it's it's a pretty big shift. Yeah, so that's what it is. It wasn't quite exact science, but it's a big shift. So we're, we're going to install this thing and use a 40%. So that should be pretty good. Hopefully. Step one will be taking out the air box. Let's get that done. There we go. It's four screws. A bit of stretch for my tool, but I'm going to make it happen. Voila. Next step is to uh, get this thing off of here. Um, I've never done this before. Push, push, pull. Well, that was pretty easy. Okay. It's way down here. Gotta get uh, 
if you can see it, there's a bolt right there to get. Okay. So, we got that off. But the, just a screwdriver, flathead. Okay, so now it's time to put this on with this. Um, it goes on like that. But it's from underneath, so you gotta be real careful. So when you put this down, you gotta carefully put that in and then loosely tighten the, the bolts down. But first, let's do some thread locker into the bolts. Let's apply some thread locker to the bolt. Not sure how much to put on each bolt. Uh, I've never used thread locker before. But yeah, okay. It's really hard to squeeze out of this tube that they give you. Well, that's better. No clue. Should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some throw locker on the new shift ball stud or something. Okay, okay so I'm gonna put this thing down here. Goes over there. I assume it can only go one way. So the instructions say to go ahead and put the bolts down in there then grab the plate go under and tighten the bolts down to hold the plate so we're going to try that one bolt down two bolts down and three now if i can get my little fat hands down here i can hold it That what? Ta-da! Easy. Set screw time. Hopefully, I don't drop it down. Cause if so, we're in some trouble. So now that we got the set screw tightened down all the way, this thing doesn't move even though these are not tightened. So now it says to tighten down all these. So let's tighten down all those using the supply it down wrench. Maybe. That's good. So I put the little plastic washer and thread locker. I already did that earlier. Put it down and uh, put this down into the proper shortened shift throw you want. I'm going all in, I'm going 40. So if you can see, um, I don't know if I can get a camera angle to show that. It says 40 down there. I'll show you, 40%. I'm going full, full short throw. down there. Now I have to tighten it down. They do not supply a wrench to do it. So have your own wrench. So the size of this to use a use like a wrench. It's a 10 millimeter. They don't tell you. But that's what it is. And it's a weird shape so a socket doesn't fit over it. So good luck. You just pop this thing right back in place. It's real easy. Just goes right on. Okay so with this back on go put your shifter into neutral. And then you reach down here and pull this little white clip that's right here. Um, it's hard to see, but it says pull it off. And then you go put your shifter in the fourth gear and then reapply this, apparently. In the fourth gear. And then you pop that thing right back on. See how easy this is doing it one handed. Do -do 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 -do. Voila. Now just put everything back in the way the way it came. There is a final shot of what it looks like in the engine bay. Pretty sweet looking. Almost done. So we install the box. One screw. Okay. Two screws. Number three. And then number four. Which I've done this in another video when I installed my AM air, air filter. Um, I recommend this dial with no oil. Okay, so with it in third gear, it's much further back than before. Uh, my hands are dirty. So we're at this line here, what I can see where the R is at. So I shift it down to fourth and eight and a half. So it's going from now 
five, a little over five and a half to eight and a half. So pretty big drop. Here's a slight shot of it. So this is at the 40% maximum. Go from there, which is, well, we're gonna say five and a half to eight and a half. So we went from five inches earlier to like nine and a half, nine something, over nine, four and a half inches to just a three inch shift. Three and a half inch shift now. Was that correct? No, a three inch shift. That is great. And look how much shorter it is. I mean, first gear, that's pretty fantastic. So there you go. For $95, you can get a really short throw. Um, I'm interested to see how it's gonna feel driving. Um, I'll do that bit tomorrow because it said the thread locker needs to lock down. So I'll give it a, you know, 12, 24 hours, something like that. So we'll be back then. Next day, I haven't driven it yet, but she has. So what's the verdict of it? It's different. Is that different bad it's, or? I mean, I don't think it's bad. I think it's just gonna take getting used to. Is it so much shorter that it's? It's so much shorter. It almost feels like you're not in gear when you switch, mm. when you change. Cause you used to that bigger the throw. The longer shift, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I like the shorter shift. When you're out there racing, it's much faster. I'll get used but, to but it. When do we ever race? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for being here. Like, subscribe. Until next one. Bye-bye.